How do guys, it's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service coming at you with a video all about wire trees. Right guys, so wire trees. Um, I've been putting doing these videos off because they just take so bloody long. Um, the, vid the, the tree that I'm going to do in this video, get my words out, <laughs> it takes about three hours. Okay, now I wouldn't advise making a boards with these at all, but they make some beautiful trees. Okay, now I do things slightly differently to most people, which you'll see in the video. Uh, and also there's a good thing on bark texture, but I lost me applying it to the tree, but you literally just dop it on. All right, guys, so I'll tell you how to do it and you'll see the finishing result. Um, now, I'm going to make about four, five maybe in total just to add to me Woodland Scenics tree amateurs, which you saw in the other video. And this is going to end the series on trees. I think I've done enough. I've done firs, pines. Um, I've done clumping foliage. I've done polyfiber trees. I've done all sorts. Um, I'll try and stick them all in one playlist as well, so if anybody's interested in trees, that's literally going to cover most grounds of how to make trees. I don't think there's any other more. If there is, print links below. I know there's a cocktail stick uh, approach where you chuck a bit of dowel up and then put uh, to make pines and stuff, but I make pines using, uh, what do you call it, gut guard. So, uh, Sit back, relax, enjoy this video. It's a bit longer because there's quite a lot of steps, but when you see the final result, you'll understand why. All right, guys, catch you in a bit. Right, guys, so first up, what I do uh, is I get the uh, wires all laid out uh, to the length I want. Now I don't cut them double the length or anything like that, I cut them to the actual length of the tree that I want. I don't fold them in half, that's why I cut them into individual strands. Okay, so that's something different that I do. Just makes it easier, there's none of this having to cut it uh, once it's all wrapped up, which I find quite difficult. Um, it's just far easier this way for me. Okay, then what you do then is you gather them together once you've cut it off, um, the amount I can't tell you, uh, just do as many till you feel comfortable that you've done enough. But once you've got them together, literally gather them up, um, sort them out into um, the length. If there's any that are sticking out the bottom, pull them out and push them back in so they're all roughly the same length. Um, and then all you've got to do is get a pencil or a, a piece of dowel, just something to act as a trunk. And that's just there so you don't have to wrap it tightly, you don't have to use as much as that height. Um, it spreads out the uh, the wire better, okay? Um, and then it gives you an indication where you can split it and work from. Then all you've got to start doing is twisting the tree. Um, it's quite straightforward, just twist it into the shapes that you want. And then literally get your hot glue gun uh, to glue it down to a base. Any base will do or your dio. But what we do with the hot glue gun while we've got this out is we actually go over the whole tree. Now make sure you've got your glue gun as hot as it'll go because you need it quite um, runny. So as it goes on the tree trunk you'll see it'll start to find its level and sink into all them uh, gaps that the wire have made. So it makes a nice structure to work from. Don't forget to do that on your branches as well. Um, it really adds some strength. Um, the wire gives it to make it flexible so you can actually move it as well. So it makes it really good and useful. Um, so it also adds a lot of strength, but it's still flexible, which is good if you want to reposition the tree uh, when you're building it. Thank you. 
what I'm doing here uh, is I'm just tidying up all the stringy stuff that you get from the hot glue gun. Just pull it. If there's any sort of dripping glue, cut that off with your snippers. Uh, just make, make it look so there's nothing there that's unnatural. All right, just flatten any drips and pull all the dangler bits off. If you like pulling your dangler bit, then you'll enjoy this part. When the glue's all dry, go round it and feel. If you can feel any wire or any big holes or gaps, just get the glue gun and fill them in. Um, it's just so it, you get a nice coverage of this. It almost feels like latex once it's dry. Right guys, so this is a bit that I lost due to memory card issues, um, but literally all it is is filler, PVA glue and uh, some serious play uh, sawdust flock uh, which makes a really nice bark texture. So just paste that all over the tree um, and then paste it on and it looks great. It's just a matter of getting something with a point and then drawing lines into it, that's all. So you get like a nice deep bark texture over the top of that. And then for painting what I do is I prime it grey um, all over and then I'll go to a, a mud brown which I hit it from a distance uh, and that gives it like a dry brushed speckled effect. And then for uh, a wash I use an army painter uh, strong tone which is like a dark brown wash. Um, I literally just bath that all over the model. And then I do a bit of basing, which is just PVA glue. I use uh, some rocks, and then I use some coarse sand, and then some medium sand and some fine sand. Uh, I wouldn't normally use the Cromlex stuff, but they've sent me it, so I'm just using it because it's convenient in the little tubs at this desk. But literally, guys, just use some normal sand and sieve it to get all your different grains, okay? Right, so on this tree I thought I'd try doing something a little bit different. Um, I haven't pre-flocked the sea foam that I get from uh, Wild World Scenics. Um, the reason that I'm trying it this way is what I do is I break it into bits that look like nice branches that I'd stick onto the branches that I've made. And what I'm going to do is once I've separated these, I'm going to stick them on in places, but any of the rougher bits and the bits that I'm unsure about where to stick them, I sprinkle them over. Uh, the top so they get the they actually cling to the other um, sea foam parts um, and what actually happens then is it gives you quite a nice canopy to apply the flock to um, I mean you could do this with lichen um, but what I'd suggest doing with the lichen first is dipping it in latex um, to make it really strong okay And then it's just a matter of sticking them on. Um, all I use for this is super glue. Um, once I've put the super glue on, I then just attach them where I want them. Um, and what I do to attach all the bits that I cut up and then sprinkle on at the end, um, I actually spray that with some yacht varnish, which is just a gloss varnish. Um, you could use um, like contact adhesive, spray adhesive, but make sure the contact or spray adhesive that you're using isn't the stringy stuff. It's the stuff that sprays out nicely. I think blue tack is one of the best ones, okay? Now with the uh, sea foam being a lot paler uh, than my tree, I spray the branches mud brown just to match the tree. All I'm doing here is just painting the base brown. Uh, I won't go into much with the basing because I'll do that in another tutorial vid. Right now, how I apply the flock, I can't say that at all. <laughs> how I apply the flock, um, I spray it with varnish. Now the reason I use varnish is it's a very cheap adhesive. Um, I get this varnish for £2 for the yacht varnish from Paint Factory. Uh, you can buy it online as well, it'll be a bit dearer because of postage. But um, I haven't had any problems with adhesion with this stuff. It's really tacky and sticky with it being used for um, you know, varnishing. So. I use that, I spray it all over and then I come in with the flock and I just sprinkle it on. Do not dunk this into um, 
a pot of flock. Sprinkle it on because what you're wanting to do is you're wanting that flock to catch the edges uh, of the bush. You don't want it to penetrate it and fill it up and make it look overfilled. Okay, so that's the point. And then to highlight it, it's just a matter of spraying it again and then sprinkling some yellow flock over the top. Just do this from a height and dust it gently so it doesn't be too harsh. Right guys, and then once I've finished, um, all I do then is I spray it down with two or three coats of PVA glue and leave it to dry. Uh, but as you can see, it's a gorgeous tree and if you add a, add a couple of these trees to your woodland scenic style ones, your forests are going to look amazing. Right guys, so it's not as hard as you think. Literally, when people say, oh, how do you, how do you build the structure? I, I just bend it where it looks like it needs bending. There's no, I don't look at a picture and try and copy it. I, when people say, oh, what tree are you trying to emulate? I, I've got no idea. I don't even know what tree, different trees are. A tree's a tree to me, do you know what I mean? I mean, you've got white trees, you've got brown trees, you've got gray trees, you've got trees with, certain, with leaves on, you've got trees with pines on. As far as that, I couldn't give a damn. It's fantasy, so if they're wrong, I don't care. <laughs> so that's that's my approach to trees. I just put a trunk on it, and then I start imagining how the branches had come from the trunk, um, and just bend it as I see fit. Um, like I say, you don't have. You could use thicker wire than I've used, which would make it a lot quicker because you're not putting the detail in with the actual. Um, wire, you're just using hot glue to cover it all over, it's just your main structure. That's the only wire I add, so I use that, but in future if I'm going to make more, I'm going to use like 3 mil wire, so I literally just do slight bending and just put it in a rough size that I want, and then I'll glue over it and stick the foliage on as I would. If I was doing a bare tree, I'd do it differently. I'd use really fine, because uh, obviously you need to emulate little branches and everything. So if you want in a bare tree, go more down this approach but with very na very intricate with the branches so they look nice okay guys but i hope you like the video i hope you've liked this series of trees uh, i hope i cover trees for all different pockets <laughs> all right guys so thank you very much uh, if you've got any questions or anything else if you'd like to buy a wire tree from me um or me to make any to order contact me on the email below um they're not the cheapest trees ever but if you just want a couple making uh, i can make three for about 120 pounds okay so if you are interested look below sorry i can't charge any cheaper they just take so long um but i can offer them if people are wanting them i know some people are already so get in touch um and i'll speak to you again soon catch you in a bit